APS training videos. Video training module manhole installation. So when you look at this spec code in your spec book, what do you see? Do you see a spec code number? You see a bunch of pieces and parts? You ever wonder how does that go together in the field? What do they have to do to get this thing in the ground? Well in this training module we're going to show you exactly what happens when they install a manhole. Here we are at the job site at Reams Road south of Olive. As you can see we already have a hole dug. So I guess the best place to start with a manhole is a hole. This hole is approximately 12 feet wide and 13 feet deep. In the bottom, as you can see, there's some pea gravel. And the pea gravel is used to level the manhole. The pea gravel also provides a way for drainage out of the manhole. In the bottom of the manhole, they have a hole that is called a sump. And any water that enters into the manhole will drain out through the sump. All we need now is a manhole. Well, I wonder where that truck is. Well, by golly, there he is right now. Manholes come in two halves. The bottom half. And the top half. What do you say we look inside of the top half? Here's the hole where the men come through. There'll be a ladder mounted later. And as you can see here, we have two arrows, a red arrow and a blue arrow. The blue arrow shows the windows where the conduits come in. They'll break these out, install bell ends, and then glue the conduit inside the bell ends. The red arrow is pointing to the galvanized framing channel. This is where the cable racking arms go. And this is your cable racking standard. Here are the grade rings for the manhole entry. This is where the men go through to get down into the manhole. They'll stack these up on each other and we'll see that in just a little bit. The guys here are now preparing the bottom half of the manhole with Conseal. A concrete sealant. This seals the top and the bottom halves of the manhole so no water can get in. If you look closely you can see a metal bracket sticking up out of the manhole. This is to help guide the top of the manhole down onto the bottom of the manhole with a minimal amount of trouble. So what do you say we get cracking and get this manhole set? <laughs> Well, that didn't take long. Here we are ready to install rings. As you can see, they put the con seal down and are now prepared to set the first ring. And here comes the first ring. 
What they've done is bolt a ladder rung inside this ring. You can see they're going to turn that ring so the ladder rung lines up with the ladder that's inside the hole. You can see the ladder inside the hole down there close to the guy on the left down there by his boot. So let's watch while the guys set the rest of the rings. Okay, here comes the last ring. As you can see, it's thinner than the rest. That is because they need to use a thinner one to match the top of the manhole with the top of the pavement. Unfortunately, in this situation, this ring did not match the top of the pavement, so they're going to take the top of the manhole that you can see here and lay it off to the side till they can get the appropriate size ring to match the existing grade of the pavement. Okay, we're just about done. Now it's time to add some slurry. No, not a slurpy, slurry. Slurry is made up of a coarse sand and concrete mix. It's used to backfill. This will help keep the manhole in place and keep it from shifting. And this is what slurry looks like. If you check your spec code 8601.30.6, you'll see it's made up of cement and washed concrete sand. And when it dries, it dries hard, but not as hard as regular concrete. They will backfill about 95% of the hole with slurry. The rest will be a gravel that will serve as a base for the asphalt patch. Here you can see they topped off the manhole with the frame and the cover. You can also see the gravel base for the asphalt patch. They are also digging the trench for the duct bank that's coming into the manhole. And after a lot of hard work from a lot of people, we have a finished product. One manhole installed. We want to thank you for watching our manhole installation training video. And remember, if you have any questions, go out in the field. Ask the guys. They'll be happy to show you how they do things and all the pieces and parts. And have a very, very safe day.